Welcome to a weird little one-off video. It's going to be a Sudoku pad video or Sudoku video uh, using a specially made, like a crafted Sudoku. And I've been playing a few of these actually just for my own enjoyment over the uh, previous weeks or months actually since I've actually had um, Sven Sudoku pad because you can load in beyond just the automatically generated Sudokus and they're really quite engaging. So anyway, I just thought of what I'd do is I'd, um, I'd see how I go against uh, one of the world champions. <laughs> Just, just it's going to be embarrassing. Like normally, when I do one of these, they, they call them genuinely approachable Sudokus. And when when I try one of these, it usually takes me about half an hour. Now I did. I've already recorded one of these, but it took me over an hour to do it. And I haven't even looked. At, I haven't. I've, what I'm doing actually. Let's let's just start at the start. Right. So there is a channel called Cracking the Cryptic, which I'll put a link to in the description. And Every week or so, um, Mark Goodliff through here, 12 times, 12 time and reigning times crossword champion and time Sudoku champion. So this guy really knows his stuff. And Simon Anthony, a former UK uh, team member in World Sudoku and World Puzzle Championships. So these are incredible. Like, I, I just, I love watching them. So, I love watching their thought process. And I find this a lot with channels where I, I, I watch channels that, I've got, I'm not very good at different sorts of things, and so Sudoku is one of them that I'm not very good at. But I love watching the thought process that people actually use to apply to sort of get through uh, different problems. I like watching, for the same reason, I like watching um, uh, like crafting uh, uh, channels as well, like, you know, where they're actually doing something, where they're building something out of metal, which I've, you know, I've never ever done in my life. But I do enjoy just watching people that are really, really good at what they do do what they do. Anyway. I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to. I haven't seen what Mark has done with a particular video, so I'm going to actually then go and put his video. I'll probably stretch it out so it sort of takes the same time as my video, but you'll get an indication. I'll try to put a, a timer so you get a, a bit of a feel for just how long it's taking him versus me, uh, which will be interesting because I think like he he does them in minutes, whereas for me it's. Uh, like a long, long time. Anyway, let's get into it. And these are uh, the reason I wanted to show this as well. If if you like Sudoku at all, I think you'll really like what they actually present on their channel and also in their Discord server. And I just wanted to go through that because I didn't really cover that when I did do the um, the video on Sven Sudoku Pad. And Sven Sudoku Pad is actually was built in conjunction with uh, Cracking the Cryptic. And so they base they sort of work hand in hand. Like Sven, I think is is like a programmer who also then helps with the website, the Cracking the Cryptic website. So if I go down into, this is actually the different Sudokus. This, he solves one, two, three, four, five. He's solving five in this particular one. Now the first one, as I say, took me an hour and three minutes to solve. So I thought, well, that's too long to put up on a video on. So I'm gonna do the next one, I think. Uh, so we'll just do this one through here. So we'll um, now, if I click on that one, what that one does is it opens up a link to the uh, Cracking the Cryptic uh, website, which you can see there. I've spent forty seconds just waiting for things to sort of come through, and it's a really, really. This is actually still Sven Sudoku Pad, but if you do actually have the software, you can then go and open the puzzle up by clicking on this particular link up through there. Now there is another way to do that, and that is to join the Cracking the Cryptic Discord server. And um, Sven actually suggested that I do, do did do that, and I'm, I'm glad that he suggested that because I have done that as well. And so the same puzzle, the same linkage is actually in through here as well. And so you can sort of see this is the actual one we're going to be doing. This is this is on their Discord. I don't know. I won't present too much of this now. Actually, this looks complicated as well. What they do is they have these different, I won't highlight any of the names that sort of come up underneath here. In fact, I haven't got permission to do this. So if um, if you are seeing this, it means that I've actually contacted Cracking the Cryptic and they're happy for me to put the uh, put the video up. Uh, if not, then it's just, <laughs> I'm just gonna be solving a Sudoku like what I normally do. All right, so for two party hats, you need to solve and it does tell you like seven minutes, okay. Now I know I can't do that. And to get one party hat, and you can see that 78 people have actually done it with the two party hats. 300 or nearly 400 have actually done it within the next one, which is within 13 minutes. And then the last one, anyone who can't do it is that sort of like that Brontosaurus type things or Thunderous uh, Torvosaurus is what they've called that one there. And that's, um, so, so the majority are doing it within 13 minutes. Now I know I'm gonna be 
outside of that. I know that for a fact. Anyway, these are these are approachable. Like you can, so I, I can solve them. It just takes me time. So I thought I'd just go through again to show, show, show off the software. I think as much as anything, and also as a bit of a shout out to because uh, I really haven't been enjoying their content. Uh, I love watching what they do. It's way too fast for me to grasp really what their what the strategies that they're doing. I just like seeing that are, seeing people that are good at what they do. Anyway, if we just go across, I can either click on this one through here. Uh, look, I might as well just do it this way. That, actually, that will just take me straight back to this other one. So I'll just open the um, open this up in in the Sudoku pad. And it just says open puzzle with Sudoku pad. Yes, we'll do that. And it then says you received a puzzle. Somebody sent you this puzzle. Would you like to save and play it? So save and play. Now, when I do this one, it's just going to then come straight in and we're now in the actual program itself. So um, I'll just pause that and we'll just re we'll um, stay paused and then we can have a read of the rules and so on and so forth. OK, I'll just clear up my desktop just so it's not all over the place. All right, I've just cleaned up everything. So we'll see Mark's video. Probably I'll place that down in the bottom here. I'll just do a, like take a recording of it essentially and then, and then sort of, uh, I think I'll slow it right down. I don't think I'll do it at the actual speed. I might, might indicate when he actually does finish on mine. So this will be the important thing, looking at the timer up through here on mine. So um, this one was actually generated on the February the 18th. It's my daughter's birthday. There we go. <laughs> Palindrome quads. So normal Sudoku rules apply. So this is going to be like normal Sudoku. Numbers placed on a grey line must form a palindromic sequence. That is, they must read the same in both directions. So if you've got a, like a, a, a 6, a 5, it's going to be a 5 and a 6. So whatever number that is, is going to be the same as in through there as well. Um, in, in, yeah, same in both directions. The numbers appearing in white circles must be placed somewhere in the four cells surrounding the circle. So there's a one, one somewhere in amongst there somewhere. There's a one, two, three, and eight somewhere in that in that particular sequence. There's I'm just seeing immediately. There's like a one, two, and a one, two there as well. So that, there's a possible palindrome. In fact, that is. Oh, gosh, I shouldn't be solving this stuff anyway. <laughs> Actually, yeah, this is, I'm I've already seeing it. Okay, let's just go back and we'll just go back. So this is actually now the one that we're going to be sort of trying. So um, now that was the one that I tried and completely failed. Uh, this is the one that I just downloaded, right? So this was the one that I spent, yeah, for 53 minutes. Uh, yeah, so not, I thought it was over an hour, but anyway, 53. Uh, anyway, let's get into this one. So we're now just going to go and play. Now, start it again. So we've got one, two, and one, two. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to highlight both of these. And uh, I'm just going to do uh, one, two in both of those because we know that that's actually in through there. If there's a one two, and a two there, that means that the one and two has to be, or the one has to be in through here. I'm just going to shift one. So, uh, and I've got a three and a four and a three and a four there. So that one also, if I just do control and then control three, four, there's different ways of placing the numbers. Like you place them in the, so if you sort of know that there's, that they exist, like these are the only numbers that can be on these. Again, we've got a four, five, four, five. Okay, so um, actually this is a bit easy, isn't it? This is more my speed. And we've got a, uh, what have we got? A five, no, we've got a six, seven, six, seven. Okay, so that's six, seven through there. All right, so we know that those numbers are in one of those positions somehow. And we know that that number is that number, et cetera, et cetera. This number here is the same as that number up through there. Now it's going to get complicated. Now, if we've got three, four in through there, we then know that the other numbers in through this side are a one, two pair. Uh, we know that these ones down through here are a five, six pair. We know that those up through there are six, seven. And we know that these are a three, eight. Um, I'll just put all these numbers in first. This one is a seven, eight. So we've actually got um, three, seven, eight. You can sort of see there. There's a combination where the, there's the only place that an actual eight can go in both of those. So we know that that one is an eight, uh, which means that this one is a three and that one is a seven. So we'll just might as well get those in while we can while we can solve those. Uh, back through here, we've got an eight, nine. Um, back in through this side, we've got a, uh, a four, five, and down through here, we've got a one, two. Right, so. Uh, and we've got a two somewhere in amongst this group and through there. Now that's, there's no, there's nothing that's stopping that from going anywhere. I won't put that number in. It's a bit too broad at this stage. Uh, let's have a look at this one. We've got a one, two there. So that makes that a one, two. So there'll be either a one or two that in that side. Actually, there is now a double there. So if there's a two there, that's a one there. 
which means that this can only be a two through here. So I'll just do shift two, so we know, and we know that because that's definitely a two somewhere in that category, this one has to be a one. So that one's a one, that one's a two, that one's a one. That one's a one because it's the same number. And so we're starting to get a few of these numbers now of the, the, in, the, in the actual grid itself. I'm doing really well, actually. I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> uh, now, if that's, a, that's, if that's a one, that's a two. Uh, if that's a two, that's a one. That's, then that becomes a two, that becomes a two, that becomes a one. Uh, if that's a one, that's, that's a one there. We'll just do the shift one and get rid of that one through that side. Uh, the two, we don't know where that is just yet. Um, what else do we know? What else do we know? Come on, I'm on such a good roll here. I don't have any of the threes or fours really at this, at this point in time. Well, one thing we do know is that threes, if three and fours are here and three and fours are here, then three and four has to be somewhere up in here. I'm just going to do a shift three, four in this case and just put them up in the corners. Um, so we know that they're up there somewhere. Uh, now we've got, we've got eight nines, we've got eights in through there. So eights have to be here. This one has to be an eight because we've got a five, six pair there. The, the eight can't go in those two locations. It gives us an eight over that side. We've got a six, seven, six, seven. Now I don't have any that resolve that one. That's a four, five because of the uh, because of the palindrome. So if that's a four, yeah, we don't get we don't have two four. So I can't get rid of that four there as such. So I can't sort of eradicate that one. Um, all right, what else can we do? Now we're probably just going to go back. If we look, we've got a one or a one. Got a one there and a one there, so I'll just do a shift one there. So there definitely is, there's a one in either of those two categories in the, both those two um, two cells. Uh, we've got a one that runs through the middle, one that runs through there. So there could be a one in either one. Actually, no, it can't be there. So that has to be a one there. Good, and that means that there's a one there. So we'll just do a shift one and get rid of that one. Uh, so that's because we've got the one that rolls down this line, and we've got the one that runs through this way as well, if I just press control. Uh, the, the only spots, oh, and this way as well, we've got another one that sort of runs through that side. The only spot left, because these are, these are full of numbers, is that one there. So that's sort of why that one sort of does work. Um, <clears throat> okay, this one may not take as long as I think, actually. This is, well, it's, it'll still take me longer than 13 minutes, I'm sure. I'm sure I'll get stuck somewhere. Um, now we've got twos that run through there. We don't know where the twos are in this column. The twos that run through there, which don't really solve anything for us. Um, hmm. All right, now I am getting stuck. Where can I go next? Ones have been good to me. One, one. Okay, so we've got a one that's somewhere in through this, in through this column through here. Now we know that they're not. We know that they're not in either one of these two because of the um, because of those those ones there. And we also know that they're well, they're not there and they're not there. So it has to be here. So there's the one. So if we got, if I double click, I can then sort of see. So I've got, I've got, uh, yeah, I've got nine ones. Okay, the ones have now been resolved. Um, the twos. It's quite handy to being able to do this. Now we know that there's a two that that extends through this column through here. So there can't be a two there. We've got twos there and there, which means that that's a two. Uh, so we've got two, two, and two. Yep, that all works. So that's all fine. Let's just grab those again. So we don't know this one yet, and we don't know, well, we, we get rid of those, essentially. There's three spots that they could be twos that way. There's too many spots. There's there and there, basically, which I'll just leave them alone. Um, two and two. So we've got a two somewhere in that column, uh, either there or there. So we'll just do a shift two. And actually, really, it is just going to be there or there as well. So I'll just do a shift two there. Just so we know that there's a two in one of those two sp two places, and there's really is just too much in through this side. I mean, that's that's all going to be twos. Let's leave them alone. We've only got one three. We've got one three, but we do actually have we've got threes in through there. We've got four fives, which aren't going to help us because they're not in the same in the same blocks really, um, and five sixes as well. Okay, well we don't know exactly. Where can two go? Two can still go either in either of these or in that one, so it doesn't really resolve this one at all. Um, okay, what else can we do? What else can we do? We've pretty much done 
most of the stuff from the palindrome, this one doesn't really matter. This is really just telling us that that one is a one, and this one's a one. So that's sort of where we are there. Uh, so the, the fast players have already finished by now. <laughs> so I'm guessing that Mark Goodliffe will be finished very, very soon because he also explains what he does, but he, he does move very, very quickly. All right, so we've got to, uh, we don't know what this one is either. That's, it really doesn't matter what that, that one actually is. This is a, okay, we've got a bit of a, we've got doubles there, doubles there, one, two. So we've got one, two, three, four. Five has to go into one of these locations. So I'll just put a, um, I'll just, I'll do this one as a control five. What else have we got? We've got six, seven, eight, nine. So what can we get rid of out of those? We don't know if that's a five, that's a six, and that can still be a five. So that's actually okay. There's no, the eights are fine there. The um, nothing gets taken out of that one either and nothing gets taken okay that was not really all that valuable uh we've got another one where there's yeah there's too many twos and things in through this side uh, we've got four that are left over at this point as well hmm okay and four there well let's just do let's just start doing these until we sort of come across something that's going to make some sense so if we go with um well, actually, one thing we... No, 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 it's all right. It's five or six, four or five. Yeah, there's nothing else we can really have a look at there. Actually, eight and nines. No, that's still okay there as well. You've already got those. We're just thinking of... Just think if there's anything else we can do. So for these ones here, we've got one, two... Um, I'm just going to put everything in and just get rid of the numbers that we don't actually have. Four, um, five and six are taken up, so seven and nine. So there's the fours, the fours in there. Now this column in here has got sevens and threes. So we'll just get rid of those. So we've got a four, nine potential pair there. Uh, this one here can be any one of the th any one of the four. So um, now if there's a four, if there's, there's a three, yeah, yeah no, that can still, that can still be a, if that's a four, that's a five. And that can't be a, that we, well, if that's a, if that's a four, that's a five, and that's a nine. If that's a four and that's a three, that's a, still a nine. So that's a nine. <laughs> okay, so we know that that's a nine. That's, and when you get the full, the full things like this, this one does actually then help. So the nine can now come out of all of those. So we'll do that. Um, so we've got a three, four, seven, triple in through there. Uh, what else can we do? What else can we do? You've got four more sections. Well, at least we've got one more number out of doing it this way. Um, let's go and... There's, no, there's five that can be done there. There's four that can be done this way. So let's just do these. So there can be a two. can be a, um, a three. What are we missing? Three. We've got a four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, eight nine is, is also in there. Now, the two can't go in here. So we can just get rid of the two that way. That way. Threes are okay, except for this one here. It can't be a three. Um, this one here can still be a two. Can be a three. Yeah, we don't have. We've got four, so fours. The yeah, fours are catered for. That doesn't really matter that much. Yeah, so that's sort of. That, so there's again not really not much help with that one through that that side. Come on, what can we do? What can we do here? I feel like I'm sort of missing something. We've done the ones, they're, they're done. We've done the, the twos, we've done one, two, three. We've got two and a two. They're definitely the twos in through that side. And we've done the twos to look at that one. Yeah, we've placed all the twos that we can place. So there's nothing else we can really do with those. Three, we've only got the one of at this stage. <clears throat> Although, no, we do, we do know that there's no three here because the threes, threes can only be up in here. So that, that one, we can get rid of that three. And so this is definitely a three down in here somewhere. So that's, uh, that's, that's an important one for us. All right, so that's good. Uh, three, then we've got fours. We don't actually have any on the grid, which is interesting. We'll come, we'll come back to them later. Fives, we don't actually have any on the grid as well. Sixes, we don't have any. Sevens, we've only got the one. But we've got seven, seven, so the seven. So this is a three, seven pair. All right, so that has to be three, seven pair. So that's going to be, uh, we get rid of the, um, the two and the six. So we can take the seven out of there and we can take the seven out of there. 
Right, so we've got, now got a, a two six pair, a three seven pair, and a four five, and an eight nine pair. So they're all different pairs, but at least we're getting, we're sort of narrowing things down, which we know then that this is a two. So this is not a two. Okay, so with that one, that doesn't really help it. Well, it does help us. It means that this is a two. It means that this is a six, um, which means that that's a seven, that's a six, which means that from the palindromes, that's a seven, that's a six, and that's a seven, and that's a six. Wow, here we go. <laughs> it's all happening. It's all happening. Um, seven, six, there we go. Um, did we get the sevens over here? No, we didn't. Seven, seven, seven. So we've got, um, we've got sevens down in here somewhere. I'll just do a shift seven. Just get those across. By the way, you can also use colors here as well, which are, I won't I won't use them because I don't need to use them, but I can if I wanted to just go across. And for example, I know that they're going to be the same. So I could say, okay, well, just make those yellow so that we know that they're the same. And this can be quite helpful at different times when you've got pairs like this, where you can sort of then try to figure out what goes where and how they sort of operate. Like we know that if that's if that's the, if that number there would be the same number there. If it's a four, then that one is is the same same color there. But if that's a five, then then that that would be the, anyway. It's sort of it's it's complex, <laughs> but it, it can be really quite helpful. I'll, I'll leave it on there just because, so you can sort of see it, um, just so that we've got some color on the actual grid itself. Uh, so we've got the sevens now. The sevens we actually that was good. We resolved that with just having like well one really, and we've now got a fair few sixes. So it's sixes, sixes, and we've got so six, six, and we so we've got a six that goes in through this side, um, just from the Sudoku that we see through there. We've got those two through there. That means that the sixes are, are both across there, down through that side as well. We then have sixes somewhere in through this side. So shift six. Um, I'll, I'll, until I actually know that there's definitely three num three digits in in there, I will actually just leave them like this in the corners. Um, Okay, so the six, is there anything else we can do? Six, six, yeah, there is. We've got six, six, and the, so there's a six in through there as well. And if we've got sixes there, then sixes are also somewhere along this row. And yeah, we've got the, we've got the, the double sixes in through there. Just do a shift six up that way somewhere. So the sixes are somewhere up there as well, potentially. All right, that's the sixes, the sevens now. Yeah, we've got seven. These are both no longer sevens, so we can just go um, control seven out of those, and that one then becomes a seven. That's good, and that then finishes off this uh, mini row, which um, is still helpful. <laughs> Actually, it does sort of allow us to then do different things with the numbers that would, would sort of normally sort of fall across this particular location. I can't see it there. We've got the twos. Yeah, we, actually, we, we know that the twos are no longer there, so that's a two. Uh, that one comes out of there. This is good stuff. Uh, if that's a two, that's not a two. So that one goes. And this one becomes a two. Um, if we've got the so that's the two twos in through there. So is that all the twos? Yes, it is. Okay, two ones and twos are now done. Um, now what else can we do? We've got sixes. Yeah, but the, yeah. So it's just this these three uh, blocks in through here that we just don't know what they actually are. Eights. We've only got two eights, which means we've got an eight pair down through there. Now we do know there will be, like there can't be an eight through there. So there has to be an eight in here because these are full. So there is an eight also that runs down through this side. Now it will place the eights because it's going to be, it could be misleading thinking that they're not in that particular row. Um, now we've got two eights there. We've got those in through that side, eights through this side, can't be there so the eights well the eights have to in this in this area go into here which means that, that can't be an eight so this is a, a six a six seven eight triple in through this side um, and with eights that can't go actually why can't they go there they can go they can't go there so it's a six a six seven eight triple which means that, that can't be an eight which means that that is an eight. So we've now got another eight on the board, um, which yeah we knew that, but there's going to be up in there somewhere. So we can now figure out what this one is. We've got three, four, four, five, and so we've got a three, four, five that has to fit in here somewhere. Now we've already got three. Uh, we've already got four fives in through here, so that must be a three. So we've got a three there. That makes that a four. And that makes that a five. 
That makes that a five because that's for the palindrome, which makes that a four, and makes that a four, and makes that a three, and a four because of palindrome and three. Um, all right, so we've still haven't done all. We've still got a couple of these little one, which, which don't really mean anything. These are only really helpful for what we have going across. We've got four, four. Well, that's a four. So because it's kind of a four there, that's a five. That's a four because of the palindrome. Uh, unknown what this one actually is down through here, but we've got six, seven, eight, and the, the, the one that we're missing is nine. So there has to be a nine there. Uh, that makes that an eight. I'm doing really well. I'm actually really proud of myself. Not even 20 minutes, and I've already got all this, all these numbers done. <laughs> all right, this is worth putting up. I won't put the won't put the first one up because that was super embarrassing. But anyway, this this one we're doing pretty well. Now we've got three in both of these. Um, okay, so let's just go and place these and then just get rid of numbers. So if we go, uh, we've got one, two, we can put a three, uh, four, five can go in, uh, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so they're the, they're the different ones. Now we can't have nines in through there. So they so nine, whoops, nine comes out of, uh, out of those, which means that's a three, five pair and that's a nine over here. So they've got the nine there. Um, these guys, if we do the same deal, so we've got one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven. Um, well, we've got eight, nine, really. So it's another eight, nine. And again, they, they can't be there. So that one doesn't have a nine. This has got a three, eight, which it can't have because we've got, already got those. That's an eight. Um, this one here can't be a nine. So that's a, um, that one comes out. And this one must be a nine because it's the only one that's left. Now, that one can't be an eight either because of the other one. So it's three. That uh, solves that particular row. Is that our first actual row? I think it is. Okay. Now we've got a five, eight, nine. Um, three fives in through there. Surely we've got something that will resolve the threes. We don't really. Not yet. But three sevens through that side. And let's just have a look at threes for a second. Three, three. So three is in this column. That's a three. Uh, that's a seven. God, it's handy to be able to double click like that. Um, I do like that actually. Like it's sort of in, in a lot of the other Sudoku uh, software that you get. Like it just highlights them automatically. But it's not onerous to double click and get what you're wanting. Uh, we've still got the sevens down there. There's no seven there, so we'll get rid of that one. That's a six, six, seven, uh, six, eight, and six, seven, eight. Now, it can still be any of those, so that's not really going to help us much. Uh, the sevens up the top here can still be there. Okay, we don't have, we've only got three for this one here, so let's just go and do this one here. We've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, can't be a nine there. Um, can be a four, five. Can't be a five, but it's a four, because the fives are there. So, um, so if that's if that can't be a four or a five, that's a nine, and then that becomes a five. Done. Job done. <laughs> love it. I love it. All right. So we've got, oh, we've got the four here. So that's a three. And that's a four. Here we go. I thought there was a way that this would actually start to resolve itself. If that's a four, Four doesn't help me down the bottom here. All right, we've still got threes and fours at the top there as well. Now fours have to go there, so that's a four there, which means that there's no fours in through those, which means there's only threes and something else in that in that number there. We'll leave that one where that is. Uh, we've got fives and sixes, so we've got one, two, three, four. Um, we've already done that one there with only three left over. What about going this way? We've got six, seven, eight, five, eight. Yeah, we're not really resolving much up that side. This one here we could. So this is a five, six, eight. Um, that just completes the five, six, eights up through that side. In fact, I might as well just do it here as well. This is a um, this is a five. Um, yeah, it's, what is it? A five, six, seven, eight. So it's got a fair few there. Yeah, look, I'm, this, I'm not really resolving much through here. Um, 
what have we got in through here? We've got one, two, three, four, five, uh, six. Yeah, six can go into either of those, or not not both of those slots, but we'll, get, we'll take that one there. And seven. Okay, so they're the numbers that we're missing through there. We can't have the six in through this side because of the six that's over that way. Uh, we can't have, yeah, we can have everything else. So we've got six, seven, five, seven, five, six, seven. So that's not really fixing itself up much at all. We need one of those numbers. What about the eights? I've only got one eight through here. So that's an eights in through there and eights in through there. Now we know that there's eights there. We know there's an eight there. There we go. So there's an eight at the top, which makes that a three. Which uh, does that solve? It fixes the eights out of those, which helps us. Um, there's no eight there. So eight is um, just double click them again. Yeah, eight's still in one of those two, and it has to be here. So that's an eight, which makes that an eight. All right, so we get rid of the eights from there. So it's a five nine, and we still have well, we have the eight over here as well. So that's not going to that's not an eight over there as well. So we've got a five nine pair there. Now the nines are yeah, they're definitely in through this column and through this side. Now we've got a, a let's just do this this one through here. We've got a one two. That can be a three. No, it can't. It can't be a three because we've got a three over here. So that's three, four, five can be there. Six, seven, eight, nine. So it's it's a five, it's a, yeah, basically a five, nine. Now, if we've got two five nines, it means that this can't be a five, that's a three. If that's a three, that's a five. Good, okay, we're getting things resolved. Um, we've got two five nines there as well, that's, that's acceptable. And we've got a five, uh, this one here would be a 579, just based on what the others have got. Now, can we get rid of any of those? Well, yeah, we can, because we don't have a 5. The 5 is, is not in there, so we can get rid of that one completely. This is just a single number. What is it? Which number is it? 7? Where's the 9? Where's the 7, actually? Where's the 9? Oh, there's a nine. Yeah, so it's a seven. All right. Okay. So that's a seven. That's um, so we still don't have the nine. Now the nine can only be there. What about the fives? Can the five go? Yeah, the five can still go up in there, can't it? But the nine, actually, the nine can as well. In fact, is that the only spot for the nine? But the seven's there, so that's a five. So we we'll just get rid of the fives out of that one. All of those, both of those don't have a five in it. That's a six. Uh, so we've got a six, seven pair through there. So we've got one, two, three, four, five goes there. That makes that a nine. So, um, hang on, is that right? No, that's not right. Or is it? That makes that a nine, doesn't it? Have I screwed this up? Yeah, I don't have a nine there. I think I've, I think I may have um, bounced a bit too fast, but this seems to be working still. So we just go back to fives there. So what are we missing through here? We're missing a seven. That seems to work. That makes that a six. Okay. So I, I think I just had my my uh, that was a lucky save actually. If that if this does work out, I've only got a couple more to get. That can't be a six. That's a five. That becomes a six. Uh, if that's a, um, can no longer have this, we've got the six and the eight, so that's a seven, which makes this one a, what are we missing? So we've got six, it's an eight. Yay, look at that, under the half hour. <laughs> Only twice the 13 minutes. Okay, we did it, guys, we did it. So uh, this is actually about the time, this is about my par, to be honest, on these sort of puzzles. But they're fun puzzles, and they're crafted. And so they're, like, this is by Sam uh, Capelman. Linz is the one is the person who actually put this one together. But it's really, really cool. It's so much better than just normal Sudokus. It's sort of, it's really opened my eyes to um, what Sudokus can be. So thank you, Cracking the Cryptic, for uh, for opening my eyes up a little bit with this. And to uh, Sven Sudokupad, again, for... Um, 
just a, it's, a, it's a great piece of software. Being able to sort of color and do different things is just awesome. So it's, um, and it's, it, I do highly recommend the Cracking the Cryptic channel. I've, I've been watching it pretty much every day, actually, for the, probably the last month or so, actually, and I'm really, really enjoying it a lot. Anyway, I'm going to strip the video together. And, um, and so, yeah, I'll, um, I'll leave it here. Like a, sp a special thank you to my Patreon supporters. And of course, if you like the, um, I know that most of you won't like this sort of content because it's away from my normal gaming content. But if you do like it, let me know in the comments and, um, you know, like and subscribe if you do, if you do enjoy it. I don't know how much, to be honest, actually, if you're, if you're watching this for Sudoku content, maybe don't subscribe because I don't think I'll be covering it. I'm no, nowhere near as... Go and subscribe to Crapping the, Cracking the Cryptic. Not Crapping the Cryptic. <laughs> God, that's, a, uh, that's a bit of a Freudian slip there. But anyway, Cracking the Cryptic. Uh, yeah, definitely go and, and, and subscribe to them if you are interested in Sudokus. Um, they really, really uh, are the, the, the channel for Sudokus. I love doing Sudokus. Um, just, you know, in my, my um, spare time, I find it sort of uh, gets my brain engaged. You can see I'm not very good, but it's enjoyable. Thanks for watching. I will catch you next time.